Guys, this is three weeks in a row cooking. Like, we've done Tuesday Evening Drive for, I don't know, maybe two and a half years straight, maybe three, and all of a sudden we're just on this cooking streak, but I love it. I love cooking, you guys are loving it, it's great. It's great, but really quick, before we get into the video, I want to just address a couple things. First thing, Fly Voice is back. Phase three has started. This is the question I've gotten more than any other question in in the past couple weeks. Like, people just ask all the time, when's Fly Boys coming back? Is it over, is it over? It is back, Fly Boys is back. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check it out. I have a video that went up, what was it, Sunday? I think it was Sunday. And the second video is gonna be coming out tomorrow, Wednesday. And I'm leaving for PAX. I'm leaving for PAX on Thursday. So Fly Boys is gonna be, it, I'm gonna try to get another one out while, like I'm gonna try to upload it beforehand so there's gonna be another one out while I am at PAX, but we'll see. Dragon Ball Z, I'm still, Xenoverse, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to get that set to where we can have Dragon Ball Z Universe episodes every single day. This is, I think this is my first series I've ever done daily, and it's been a learning experience for me, but I'm loving it. I'm glad you guys are loving it too. New one just went out today, so check it out. I had a lot of fun with the thumbnail. Yeah, I won't say anything else, but yeah. Um, what else? We got that, that, oh, live streaming. If you guys were at the end of last live stream, you would have heard no stream at all this week. Like, I'm gonna be here Wednesday, but I, I need that time to to get ready for PAX, pack and to get videos ready. That's the biggest thing. And I might even be pulling it on lighter that night. That's how busy I'm gonna be. So there's no way I would have had time to stream. So I'm sorry for everyone who's looking forward to a stream tomorrow or Saturday. It's just, it's just not gonna happen this week. And I feel bad. And it, and it stinks for me too, because I love it. I love streaming. I love just like that instant interaction with you guys. But if you're gonna be at PAX or in the Boston area, we're gonna be doing some meetups. I'll talk about that later in the video, but let's just get going. We're cooking a steak today. Now, I always preface these videos. I'm not like a master chef or anything. I'm not like, I'm not great at cooking. I've tried things and sometimes they work. And when they do work, I share it with you guys. So I've had this pan heating up Let's do the water test. Is the water, oh yeah, oh yeah, it is ready. The water is, uh, what do you call that? What is that word that I'm looking for? Disintegrating? I don't know, man. I was up late last night. I might, I might, whoops. I might miss a couple words here and there. Okay, so I just throw a little oil in here, you know, just get it around in the pan. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. I got a little oil on my hands. That's gonna be there forever. So, I had this steak. This is a sirloin, just flat out sirloin steak, and I think you're supposed to look for a lot. They call it marbling, the, the white stuff in there. Oh, that's going away. That usually doesn't go away that fast. <laughs> okay, well, we might need a little more oil, but I've had this steak sitting out for about 45 minutes at room temperature. That's what they say you're supposed to do. It, it's, it makes me feel a little uneasy because I feel like you're not supposed to leave meat out like that, but they say you're supposed to have it out. At room temperature, it helps get it, helps make it cook evenly. And this pan that we're using, it's the, the, pink, the pink pans are back. This pan, it's not like the best pan to do this, but this is what I have. This is all I have. This is what we will use. Now, the most important part, the seasoning. We have, what do we have? We have a seasoning lineup. Black peppercorn grinder. We got Weber Chicago steak seasoning. Lowry's seasoning salt. Zadrain's Creole seasoning. I know, you might think, dude, what is the matter with you? These are the weirdest, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, I'm sorry. This is just what I do. You can do any seasoning you like. This is what I like, this is what I do. You might even like it yourself. Okay, that might have been too much. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Dude, let me turn down the heat. The oil is popping. I probably shouldn't have waited, oh, I probably shouldn't have waited this long. Oh my goodness, the oil is popping. 
that's not a good sign. Because if the oil is popping, that means it's gonna go crazy when we put the steak in there. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> well, it should be good. Well guys, we have questions to get to. If, if you're not familiar with how we do things here, every Tuesday on Twitter, I will say, hey, what do you want me to talk about in today's video? And I pick five questions. So the first question was from Stratosphere Gaming. What? Uh, he just, no, he said, uh, just talk about more games on your channel. So I wasn't sure if he meant like the new games we've been playing or like, or if he's talking about if I'm going to be playing more games. Wait, what do we do? We haven't done this. If I'm going to be playing more games, okay. I talked about this a while ago that we were going to be adding a lot more games to the channel, to the lineup. Oh man, that's popping. That might not be good. This is good. Oh, hold on to your butts. Oh, okay, we're good. I had to back up for a minute there. Let me set a timer. I do, I don't know, maybe like, I usually do maybe six minutes both sides, but I, I usually have to do it a little longer because I don't like it really pink inside. I have it set for seven minutes. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'll let you keep an eye on the steak. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this plate off while we're talking. Hopefully you hear me. So new games on the channel. You probably hear a lot of echo, and I'm sorry for that. Um, you know what? Let's just get a new plate. That's what we'll do. New plate. Genius. So we've been playing a lot of Dragon Ball Z universe, as you can tell. I did some grow home, a little iron bread. And it's just really, really fun. Like, I just look for the games that seem to be the most fun, and I play them. And I hope you guys enjoy them, and I'm so glad when you guys do. Screen Rhyme, another one. That one is just got released today. I've been playing the demo, and the full game just got released today. Unfortunately, I did not get a video of it up today, but hopefully tomorrow. But yeah, as far as new games on the channel, I'm loving it, you guys seem to be loving it, and we're just gonna, you know, we'll probably keep adding more games as time goes on, more fun games come out. So yeah, that's that's really all I can think of to talk about on that on that subject. Next question was from MC Geechee, and he said, what is your plan for when you go to PAX, for the channel, for Twitch? And it's kinda like what we were talking about earlier. I'm just gonna be, Uploading videos ahead of time. I'm planning on getting at least a video every day. Some days will be two videos. And we're looking at Dragon Ball Z Universe, hopefully a Flyboys, hopefully a Grow Home, hopefully some Scream Ride. And all these videos that I'm talking about, it's Tuesday. I'm leaving Thursday morning. I haven't recorded any of these. So this is it's gonna be it's gonna come down to the wire. And I've been trying to, to prepare, but I'm a little behind. And that there might be an all-nighter in store for me. Well, we'll see. So expect videos every day. If you don't see one, that means I didn't get to it, and I'm very sorry. As far as Twitch, like I said, I won't be streaming this week. It'll definitely continue next week. What else? Oh, I might be doing some vlogs. I'm not sure. I'm undecided. Last time I went to PAX, I did maybe a couple vlogs, but I didn't have internet in the hotel, so I wasn't able to upload them. This time I think we're going to have internet. So yeah. Um, okay, I'm looking at my timer. We're at like around nine minutes or so. I'm going to pause the video and let this cook a little bit and then we'll be back in just a minute because my camera's gonna shut off. Okay, we're back and it's almost time to flip it. We got one minute and 18 seconds. And I didn't want, I didn't want you guys to miss the flipping part. So next question is from Zephyrian. And Zebrian said, how do you deal with the feeling of life going so faster than you want it to so you can't enjoy life to the fullest? That is a really good question and it relates to some thoughts that I've had before. And it's, it's difficult because when you're growing up you don't really think about it that much. You're kind of just thinking, hey, I want, I want, you know, time to, I want time to go faster because you want this or this or this. But in my 20s, it really started hitting me just how fast time really does fly. 
and it's a difficult thing to to deal with like when you're thinking man you know I, I just wish I just wish time wouldn't go so fast and oh here we go here we go here we go oh careful oh wow oh this is this is looking better than I expected I don't think it's lying very flat this is the problem I have like the middle is going to get cooked but the edges aren't going to but I think it I think it'll be fine <laughs> But it's it's something that I'm like, man, I wish time just didn't go so fast. Like, just because there's so many things that I want to do in my life. But the only thing that I figured out as far as how to deal with it is just to accept it and be like, we only have this much time in this part of our lives, this much time in this part of our lives. We just have to accept it and make the most out of it. So it's a great question, very thoughtful question, and it's something I've thought about personally, and it's one of those tough things. Time really does fly, and you just wish that you have more of it, but all we have is what we do have, and we just have to accept, accept it and make the most out of it. But great question. Next one was from the Gracia, the, the top of the pile at the end of last stream. The Gracia said, how do you balance your time between Twitch and YouTube? And that's a great question too, because that's something that that I, I deal with all the time, just trying to, trying to balance the time. Twitch takes a lot of time. I stream 10 hours a week, five hours on Wednesday, five hours on Saturday. And in between the streams, I have to update the description of like new you know donations coming in or subscriber milestones or giveaway winners all that stuff like i have to update that stuff and, and work on things like when things don't go right i have to change some settings so streaming takes a long time and youtube takes takes a really long time too so balancing those two is really really difficult i'm not explaining this very well but it, the bottom line is it's difficult it's difficult to balance twitch and youtube and like, I would just have to say, it's just one of those things that I'm working on and I feel like I'm getting better at. So great question from Degrassi. The last question is from Crystal. Any PAX meetups plans? Any plans for a PAX meetup? And yes, I am planning on a meetup at PAX or hopefully multiple. And I'll probably just be doing that on Twitter and if, you, if you're not going to the event but you're in the area, I, I've heard some people said they're gonna, they're gonna like at least be in the Boston area but they don't have tickets. So maybe we'll do some meetups like outside the convention too. So it should be a lot of fun. And I wanna make videos while I'm there, like I said. It's, it's gonna be tough because we're gonna be really busy but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get some, some vlog videos off. All right, so we are at Oh my goodness, I didn't set the timer for this side. Good thing I don't claim for this to be an instructional video. Well, here's something. Here's something that I've learned from uh, Chef Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay. He said, when you are checking to see how done a steak is, you don't want to cut it open because the juices will come out. What you want to do is feel it and see how, how soft it is. So like, okay, I'm trying. I'm gonna try not to get too close to this because <laughs> oil is spattering everywhere. But like this, if you feel this this firmness on your hand, that is I don't know, like medium or medium well. You go in a little bit. That's more I don't know, medium rare. And on the inside, it's rare. So like, you can if you do that to yourself, you can kind of see different firmness levels. So. Man, I don't know. Let's see. This is going to be hot. Oh. Oh, wow. That seems pretty firm to me, man. Dude, this is a tough one. Oh, it's tough to say because I don't know if I'm feeling like the firmness of the outside because I cooked it so long there. Oh, man. I see a little blood coming out there. Let's let it go just a little bit longer. And we'll come back once it is done. Okay, so I realized I had my timer going. So I just went by the timer and we're done. 
So I let it sit on this plate for a few minutes. I guess you're supposed to let it sit before before you cut into it. Oh my goodness. It's now is the the moment of the truth here, man. Let's see. Let's see how it's looking. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. It shouldn't be that hard to cut into. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Okay. It is definitely more done than I think most people like it. But, dude, we got some red in there. I did, Dude, I like that. I like that. I like it probably medium well. And I think that is about medium well. You probably can't see as well as I'm seeing it right now. But we got some... It's pinkish red on the inside. All the way done. But guys, I gotta eat this. I am starving. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later.